Hello guys and welcome to another episode of tutorial from Industrial Craft 2 and um, in well in, in the past I have already made a tutorial about the different types of cable and um, here you can see a little overview about this um, old tutorial and um, there are different types of energy in the industrial craft too. Um, at first we have a low voltage, um, furthermore we have a medium voltage, high voltage, extreme voltage and insane voltage. Um, in industrial craft uh, too we have different tiers of um, energy and um, we will look at the back and um, I already installed seven low voltage solar arrays with insulated copper cable and um, our solar arrays producing a low energy from industrial craft 2 and um, we make one straight line and connect our bad box to this energy network. Um, here you can see that um, our energy network is um, attached to this bed box and we, um, we produce energy into this bed box, that's fine. Okay, um, on the output side, and this is the output side, not here, um, because um, I can change it may maybe this way or this way. And um, on the output side uh, we can um, attach uh, another insulated copper um, cable and our bed box is um, producing low energy voltage. So that we can now put our CESU and our CESU is producing a medium voltage on the output side. So that we can also use our cover cable, um, that's okay, and that's fine. And um, our charge pad, um, our CESU, puts using medium voltage, and uh, this goes uh, straight into our MFE. And um, the MFE is producing um, high voltage, and um, I place one copper cable, but you will see that it will be destroyed uh, because um, copper cable um, only allowed to use medium voltage. Uh, so does uh, the copper cable is break up, and we will see our MFSU, and you see the copper cable is break up. So I got a little bit damage, that's okay, um, so that we use in this um, step our glass fiber cable and it's fine. So um, you can see that uh, our charge pad um, MFSU is um, loading up um, the energy and um, yeah, we have different types of energy, um, T1, T2, T3 and T4. And um, you can see in your mod pack maybe that you uh, have different types of um, uh, different types of machines, um, for example. So we, I can look in, into my in, into in inventory. It's okay. Um, I have a maserator. I have a rotary maserator, and I have a metal fabricator. And um, the maser waiter, we, we can take a look and um, place, um, make it this way. Okay, so the energy is um, only, goes only this way. And um, I use a glass fiber cable here and um, yeah, install my maser waiter to the network. It's okay. And um, on the second, the second step, and we can see we, here we have a medium voltage. We take a look and um, put our um, on, uh, and attach our maser waiter, and you can see there's nothing. Um, what happens because um, yeah, there's not enough um, energy, and uh, ah okay because we have we have, don't have um, any and uh, any any energy. So yet uh, now now it is um, destroyed and um, you can see um, that we need a little bit of dirt to um, replace that. 
Okay, because um, this Maze Awaiter is T1. Um, here you can see that. And um, we have here in our CESU um, energy from T2. Okay, and we'll take a look. Uh, furthermore, we have um, T3. That's the this. And we have also a machine for T3. Um, have they are choosing the meta fabricator for example and that's okay because we only need to put this uh, and um, here you can see the meta fabricator does it have n any energy or not uh, because ah okay um, our meta fabricator doesn't get any uh, any energy because our mfe um, puts all the energy into our MFU, MFSU. Um, I take this wrench, take a right click, and um, you can see our meta fabricator has energy is and is producing matter. Yeah, that's um, how the energy uh, in Industrial Craft 2 works. I hope I could um, tell you something about the energy of Industrial Craft 2. Thanks and bye.